Hello everybody, you are on channel Alex Baranov IT and today I am gonna show you how you can create your own telegram bot task manager so it will help you with uh, managing your task you know like to-do list okay and first to start you need to go to your uh, to your application where you're writing code it can be Visual Studio but I use PyCharm because we are coding on Python programming language Python so I'm using PyCharm that's what I like that, that's it okay and first we need to go uh, at the top of the, f at, the, f of the f uh, at the at the top of the our program and create new Python file you, you go new Python file create a new name I already did it so I have task und underscore manager dot py file you need to import SQLite three databases because we needed to store our task for every user so if program suddenly will start or will 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 su suddenly will stop or like something will happen uh, we will not lose our task that user will add and also we need to go import telebot so we go to our terminal and we are writing pip install telebot like this I already did it so my requ requirement already satisfied but you will have something to download also you need to uh, import telebot from telebot import types to make inline buttons in our telegram bot uh, okay next we go uh, create new variable database uh, name it somehow I'll name the tasks.db like database uh, you need to keep this db because we need just we, we just need it and also we go to to create new variable token and here you need to paste your token from bot father so I will show you how you can do this you go to bot father uh, start your chat start new press new bot uh, then you go write something how to call it you write for example I don't know task manager yep like this you name it somehow I'll just bot like this and you copy this API HTTP API token you just need to copy this one go and paste it here uh, next you go create first function def setup database with sqlite.connect database as con cure is con dot cursor just copy this file I'll leave my github link in the description so you can just copy uh, this code if you don't want to type it okay then we go and we'll write new function def add user with user id uh, with skillet collection da -da 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 -da. Con commit. yes that's it def add task so basically basically uh, this function create new database if it is didn't created yet if it does if it just checks it and keep going keeps going keep going and so this task add user to database this task uh, this function add user users tasks to databases so if I go to I can even show this bot that I, I that I have so I can go back here and run it uh, like this great I can start it and so I have add the task add l and list to list task and delete to delete task so I can write slash add please provide this description use add your task so you need to write basically you need to write add and your task for example check email and now your check email task added you can write slash list to have your tasks so I have only one my task and it is it is check email only this one I will mark it as done and now if I again list all of them um, 
Okay, I can go add uh, clean clean the room. Yep. Okay, clean the room, and now slash list. And already I have check email done, clean the room not done. Uh, also I can sla write slash delete. And oh, oh, of course I have this error. So when you write slash delete, you need to go and write slash delete, and then you write clean the room like this. Uh, after you go, okay, doesn't matter actually. Uh, you you will get it. Uh, but the mo the most uh, the most valuable thing is that you can add task you can mark them as done you can list them like now i don't have any tasks so it will be just uh, empty uh, so here's three functions add list and delete okay back to code we have another function delete task to delete our tasks uh, we have our mark completed to have um, to have the function to mark task completed as completed uh, get tasks to get tasks from the databases to show them to the user also we have start function that looking uh, so bot is always looking for start so if i will just write slash start i'll have welcome message again if I will write slash dot add, I'll have this function. If I write slash dot list slash list, I'll get this function. And, and if I will write slash delete, I'll delete some function. I'll have uh, the ability to delete the tasks. And also, you need to in the end you need to write function setup database and boat dot polling non stop true to keep your boat uh, looking for updates that's it this is the whole code i will leave it in mo in the description the link to my github where you can uh, fo find this code uh, so that's it thank you for watching i hope it was very useful for you uh, subscribe for more videos like this video if you liked it and thank you for watching bye bye